Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is our part 19. In this video session guys, we will discuss the filter hook called manage underscore post type underscore post columns and also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, where actually we use this filter hook, suppose we have made a custom post type in our WordPress project, okay. So now as we want that some columns actually we want as a custom columns to our custom post type. So by using this filter hook, we can actually add our custom columns to that data table, okay. So just back to editor. So far guys, this is the plugin so far we have developed. By using this plugin actually we are learning our WordPress hook tutorial. So inside our previous video sessions we had discussed about several types of our filter hooks okay so if you go to slides now here we have a guys a, sm a small snippet of custom post type creation code okay so if I copy all these codes as we can see from this section of code actually we have made a function right now this is function is linked with a neat action hook okay now at the time of theme installation at the time of our WordPress installation this function will fire after firing it will create or register a custom post type to our WordPress setup okay and the key that is called the book okay so just I'm going to copy all these things just back to editor and now paste all these things so this is the code to actually register the custom post type in our WordPress project okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that here is the book section that we have developed or registered a custom post type so if I click on book section so basically guys this is the WP list table actually WordPress provides for this custom post type basically this table has three columns right now first is the checkbox second is the title and the third is the date if suppose we want three extra columns inside this WP list table so how can we make those custom columns to our this table okay so for that we actually use this action hook sorry filter hook that we are going to study in this video session okay so just copy this filter hook go to editor and now let's say that add filter first parameter we have to pass the filter name okay so now manage underscore post type so basically this is the post type of type book okay so just copy this key replace with this space placeholder okay so manage book post columns and the second parameter we have to pass a callback function so let's say that owt add custom columns book Okay. so this is the callback function guys we are going to define okay so just copy the function name function function name inside this function block guys we have to write those columns actually we are going to add inside our custom post type that actually we have seen right here okay so basically if I inspect these columns so just click on inspect now as we can see that inside our table we have three TR okay no it's one TR okay inside this T head so if I open that we have td called cb cb is id for the checkbox okay inside this th we have id called title this is the title and now inside this third we have the date of id okay for this column so if you want to define or make any custom columns inside this wp list table first of all we have to make an id of that okay so just back to editor so inside this function we are going to add custom columns to book custom post type okay so basically inside this callback function guys we have to pass a parameter called columns okay and finally we have to return this columns right here okay inside this callback function so let's return and this columns variable okay so basically this columns actually contains all the columns we actually define inside this books WP list table okay so let's say that columns it should be array so let's say array inside this array we have to write all the columns that we want inside our custom post type book okay so first column we want sub something supposed to be checkbox okay the ID of checkbox as we can see is CB okay so just copy that CB and the first column has output actually for the input type checkbox okay so inside this double quotes let's say input type checkbox and I close that okay so this is the first column so if I just save this file go to browser and reload this page 
Once we reload, as we can see, the WP list table structure has changed. It contains only one checkbox. Why? Because we have actually redesigned the structure for that. Okay. Next column, we want something suppose title. So this is the ID of the title. Okay. So let's say that. Let's say that book title. Okay. This is the name. So if I just save this file, reload this page. And now as we can see that this is the second column that we have added. Okay. So if I inspect this book title, just go to the code. And now as we can see that this th actually contains a ID called title. And this td contains a ID called cb. So these are the columns actually we are defining right here. These are the IDs. Okay. Now next column we want something suppose book author. Okay. So just specify the ID. Let's say book author. Next we want suppose email or okay or let's say amount. So this is ID and let's say that book amount. Okay. Next we want something suppose date. Okay. So let's say date and this is let's say created date. Okay. So if I save this file right now we have made five columns to our custom post type. Okay. So just save this file, reload this page, close this inspect. Now as we can see that guys we have checkbox, book title, book author, book amount as well as our created date. Okay. So these are the basic five columns we have added by using our filter who called manage underscore custom post type name underscore post columns. So basically guys inside our custom post type books we have added our custom columns by the help of this filter hook. Okay, so the question is that how can we add our own data inside this columns list? Okay, means how can we supply for our custom column names? Okay, so for that actually we use the action hook. Okay, action hook something like that. So if I just back to slides, now here inside code the action actually we use something like that manage underscore post type post underscore custom columns. This action hook actually we will use to supply our data for those columns. Okay. Here we have to supply as we know that we have register or post type for the name of book. Okay. So just copy this name, go here and replace with this post type. Okay. Only this action hook we will use and by using a callback function actually we can supply those data inside our custom columns. Okay, so basically guys this section I will discuss inside next video session. So I think that actually we have made much more clear concept about adding custom columns to our custom post type. Okay, so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.